Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Index Card Friday. Ah, I'm gone. You know that? I bet you didn't think there'd be one this week, but there is. Okay, before we get started, just a couple little announcements. Um, March, we have one birthday, and that's Roseanne on, I believe, the 15th. Uh, my daughter's birthday is on the 16th, so happy, happy birthday, Roseanne. And uh, a bit of sad news. We, uh, Linda Barnes is losing her sister, unfortunately. I don't have any details. I just know that she's sad and... Uh, prayers for Linda, please, and you might give her some love in the comments. I can't even, I don't have a sister, but I have a brother. I can't even imagine what that would be like. So, Linda, we love you, honey, and I'm sorry to hear that. I really, really am sorry. So, with that being said, let's, are you excited to see what I did? Okay, I did a take on cabinet cards. If you remember, uh, it was a couple weeks ago, I think, maybe three weeks ago, I pulled out some of the Artie Mays um, photos from her shop. And I have these 40, 49 in market frames. And so I thought, why not? Look at what a cute little tag this would make or little booklet for um, in your journals or even happy mail aren't they cute this could slide right into a pocket it's cute as can be gives you a space to write and then if you wanted to put something on the back you certainly could you could add a pocket you could you could <clears throat> decorate the back if you wanted. You could do just about anything you wanted, but I just thought it's it's a loose term, I think, to for a cabinet card, but still, aren't they cute? I just fell in love with these, and so I made um, Artie Mays, when she does these, you get three sizes. You get this size here, a little bit larger, and then you get larger than this one, but... Um, I will link Artie Mays' Etsy shop in the description box so you could hop over and have a look because she's got several of these in different styles and they're just cute as could be. So let's get started. We will be using for this the large, I believe, 7x5s index cards. They're the great big ones that I've gotten at the dollar store. Okay, 8x5. Eight by, eight by is what it is. And um, you're gonna need two of them. One will not be enough. So, what should we do first? Let's do this big one. <clears throat> it depends on the photo that you use. It depends on the frames that you use. You can use Tim Holtz frames. You, you can, um, if you don't have frames, you can take a piece of cardstock. If you've got a die cut that's squared or round or oval, um, or just get a ruler and an exacto knife or a ruler and a pair of scissors. If you've never done that, then what you would do is trace this out the size that you want, stick a hole in the center, take your scissors, and just go ahead and cut and then cut around the outside of your shape and you'll get a frame. But like I had mentioned before, this is a 49 and market. I've had these for a long time. I know, it seems like I have everything for a long time, but I have had these, I haven't done anything with them, and I just thought this, this would be a cute idea. One thing I wanna mention, this one, I had this up at the top. It made it harder to put together. I ended up having to cut this V, where this one, I didn't. So if you have frames from 49 and Market, I would suggest this piece here go down in the right bottom so that you have a straight edge. So the first thing we're gonna do with this, hey Maggie, 
Hey, Maggie. Is you're gonna figure out whatever photo it is you're, you're using, you're gonna figure out how that's gonna fit. And I did do this one. You can see how I cut that here. I did do it to accommodate that, but I am gonna change it. And we are going to accommodate this, which means you can see right here, I'm gonna have to cut just a little bit of this off so that that will work. And then we're gonna glue this down and I'm going to put the glue on my photo just all around just like this trying not to get any on the photo it's itself and then I'm going to place my frame and then we are going to ink I'm going to try to get it try to get it even as best I can. Sometimes it takes a little bit because that is not even at all, Charlotte. That is about as wonky as it gets. That looks better. Because this has um, stitching so it's not completely flat. You got to just maneuver it just a little bit. And I could see here, I can use some glue just right in here. So hopefully that will do it. Then Yep, we have to, uh, well, we don't have to, but we are going to ink. So I did change my dauber because, as you know, it was shedding. I think these daubers are old, and they don't last very long. They're not the domed daubers. They're the daubers, the flat ones. But, um, you know, sponges, they don't last all that long. So we're going to take... We're going to ink this, and I'm going to get it all. I want to get the stitching because you can see the stitching so much better when it's got ink on it. It just shows up. So we're going to do that. And the process for, for the next one, the large one, is exactly the same. So we have that, and now we need to make a card out of this. So what I did is I took a piece of just cardstock. This is Renke cardstock. I'm trying to use it. I don't even know why um, I had it. But this is going to measure, I think it's a six and an eighth by four and a quarter. And so we're going to take our index card, and I cut it to match. And you know we want the uh, printed side in between, because when we open this, we want to see the index card, and we want it plain on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and you could score it whatever half is for you. You could score it. I am going to do this. And then we're going to take our glue and we're going to glue this down. And I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that I uh, got correct measurements and didn't mess it up. So we're just going to glue our index card on here. Easy, easy project. A cute, cute project, I think. Really, really cute. And then we're going to hope that I didn't mess up. I have just a little bit, I can see, to cut. Just right here. And just a tiny bit up there. I don't know that it's really going to matter, but for those of you that like to get things as close as possible, we are going to 
go ahead and trim. And you can do this with your cutter. I'm just going to use the scissors. So because we're making four of these today, there'll be four to give away. Uh, next week, I will be coming home on Friday, so there uh, will not be an index card next week. So I apologize for that, but it just can't happen. All right, so now you know what we want to do. I'm going to fold this. Give it a good burnish and we're going to ink it. Okay, we're going to look at this. Keep your fingers crossed that this fits. Why is it short? This is short, isn't it? This is, you know why it's short? Because it goes with this one. Charlotte! Okay, this goes with this one. Okay, girls, so we're going to do the same thing here that we did with that one. We're just going to switch over. I'm going to ink this because I see on there it isn't, and so I'm just going to do it here. doesn't matter. And then we are going to place this on this one. So we're going to do the exact same thing. That's okay. We were going to do the other one anyway, so it doesn't matter. I didn't even look at it and notice it, so we're going to get this on here. That looks pretty good. Just like that. Why doesn't it want to stick? See, that's the stitching on the uh, frame. Okay, let's see if I can get this over like this. If you want, if you don't trust it, you can put some tape. That's not going to hurt it. Or some washi tape on this to make sure you've got it just like that okay now again we're gonna ink it just looks to me better when it's inked so we're gonna go around the edges and then we're going to make sure we get the stitching. You can see the difference when you can see the stitching. Like that. Yep. Okay. Then we're just going to make sure before we ink this that it fits and it does. Just like that. We're going to have it. Okay, so we're going to trim this. You don't have to trim this, but I just kind of like it to fit like that. And just in case, we're going to go around in any of the white that you can see. We're going to ink because I don't want you to see. You want it to look kind of old. And we're going to do both sides. And we're going to do the inside. Because when you open up that index card, I want it to be inked. So here we go. You can do this part any way that you want. I am going to do the center. You don't have to ink it all if you don't want. 
but yeah. Okay, then burnish again. And then this is going to get, this is going to get glued to here. So, just like that. Yep, okay then. So now we're going to apply glue all over this, this side. And if you wanted to, you could take this to the sewing machine and um, you could put stitching in it. It would be so, so pretty, I think, with stitching. So we're gonna put this down, make sure we've got it where we want it, and we don't. This needs to come down. Let's see on the inside. That needs to come down a little. Okay. Just like that. And then you can see where you've got a little bit here and maybe a little bit up at the top. You might want to touch that up. You know, it's your card. You fix it the way you want it. This is how I want it. So there is the small one. Isn't it cute? Just so cute. Looks like I could clip that off. So there you've got a little card and we want to put something on the front of this. I do. I want to put a little, maybe that's too big. Then I came up with this little, these are little ephemera pieces from Tim Holtz. And then I had this little piece here that said perfume and I don't know where I got that. And I kind of like that so I'm going to do that. I can't tell you where this came from. I have no idea. So this little cabinet card could be a advertisement for perfume. And we're gonna go just like that. Hold it for a second, just to make sure it grabs. And there you've got just the cutest little card. Isn't that adorable? And you can do anything you want with the inside you want to add. So there's one. So now let's go ahead and do this one. And um, this is what we're going to use. This, this particular size is... Um, this is a four and three quarters by six and six and three quarters is what size this ended up being. So we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to fold this in half, just like this. Burnish this. And then we are going to glue this down onto there. Let's just fold this in half as well. Burnish this. And then maybe this will be easier. Just go around. This. Do the other side. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I need to start packing today. So when I'm done here, that's I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, and then this one. Yeah, that's 
was going to say, am I on the right side? I know we're going to cut that corner off. Mainly, I think we want the fold. Because the rest should be pretty hidden. I can't believe this is already shedding. Look at that. And I just replaced it this morning. Yep, they're old. I'm going to be going through these probably one a day at this rate. So, I've had them for a long time. All right. So then we want to glue this onto here, just like that. So let's do that. Same process as the other one. We have a lot of new subscribers. And I think we added over 100 new subscribers in one week less than one week I think just a couple days guys so please be sure to welcome everybody and um, hopefully you will love it here so let's do this no matter how I cut the paper I never seem to be able to get get it perfect look at that it just doesn't ever want to work. So we're going to clean it up. Just a hair, but enough to notice. Enough to be something. Look at this. So it's worth taking the one minute that it's going to take to make it right. In the end, you'll be glad you did that. Down to nothing, okay. And then, we'll just go around here. And like I said, we're gonna have to cut this off, I'm sure. And of course, there's always one little piece that didn't wanna cooperate. So this is going to go on there like that, and you can see we're going to cut this off. And I'm going to cut it through the entire thing. So this is going to sit like that. Okay, we're going to glue this on, and then I'm going to cut it. So same procedure. Get this glued on. And see what we look like here. Try to get it as even as I can. I think we can come down a little bit. or not. You want to just make sure that you can open it. We're not all the way down at the bottom there, you can see, but that's okay. And she opens up. Let's cut this. I'm going to come in and just do a cut like that. And then come back with the ink and get those little places. And this one I came over, it's okay. And here, we're gonna get this. Doesn't have to be perfect, not meant to be perfect. Each one you do would probably be different from the other. Isn't she cute, though? Look at that. I am not going to cut this. You could if you wanted. Whoever wins this, if you don't like that, you can cut that off. That doesn't bother me at all. And we're going to put a little... I think I'm going to put this number 10 on here. Just because I think that looks good. So... 
We'll put this number 10. And if you wanted, you could use Brad's. Put this on with Brad's. You might want to do it, if you're going to put something on with Brad's, you might want to do that before you put your photo in so that you don't see your Brad's, but that doesn't matter either. Not to me. Isn't that cute? So guys, that's our index card this week. Isn't she cute? Look at that. I would be very, very happy if I saw this in a journal. Really happy. So that is our make. So we've got we've got four of them for next week. Look at that. Okay, guys, so let's have a drawing. How about it? There we go. Four of the cutest little cabinet style cards. All right, remember what we had last week? Remember we did our lots of stamping, our index cards? This was such a really, really cute make with the dangles. When I pack these up, more than likely the little bulb pin is going to be loose. So when you, um, if you win one of these, look in your envelope for that. Uh, because there is um, girth here, I will take it apart. So, okay, how about this cutie patootie? This is a new month, and so I went through last week's index cards. The names that were still in here are in here, and I added all the uh, new ones from the comments. Okay, got lots of new people. So if you are a new person and you hear me call your name, please go into my Etsy shop, leave me a message with your address. Uh, the next time that we do a um, index card, if I haven't heard from you, I will be giving that un to another draw. Okay, Mary Crafty, this one. Mary, I do have your address. This goes to you, congratulations. And this one here with um, that cute, cute lady. Okay, this one, how about, how about, This one goes to Jane Dilly. Okay, and I have your address, Jane. So this is going to be coming your way. So congratulations, guys. I hope you absolutely love this make. I think this is about as cute as it gets. Um, I hope you will give it a try. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And in the meantime, have a fantastic week. I will catch you when I get back. Big hugs, everyone. Bye.